Well, hello. Hello. It's the first day of the show. We weren't quite sure what time everything started because yeah. all we could find was the first speaker, which is Nicole Burgess. I can't wait to see her. I'm so excited about that. Um, is at three o'clock. And then Chris said, if you click on this and this and this and this, then you'll find out that the doors open at 10. So we're running late. Yeah. We thought we were like mega early. Right. We were actually going to go over to the strip and kind of look around because there's some more hotels that we haven't seen. So we're going to try to do that either tonight or sometime tomorrow because we're leaving for Lake Mead somewhere around 9 a.m., 9 to 10 a.m. on Sunday. I am so excited are about that. Are you excited? We yes. are going tent camping with Chris and Miriam and Steve and Holly. I brought some um, camping clothes. Did you? Just a few. Just I did A bathing suit. I am not prepared because it is cold here. It's weird because it's hot during the day, but then cold at night. So when we were coming back last night, I'm like, I'm getting cold. Like when we went out to the strip, I was wearing a sweat jacket. Right. And then I got hot, so I put it in my backpack. And uh, indeed, then I got cold again. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted Take to it. Take your hand off the table because oh, you're shaking I'm bumping the camera. It. Sorry. So did you feel weird bringing a loaf of Maria Emmerich's bread with it you? It is day 27 of the Beef Butter Bacon and Egg Challenge. What is today's date? Today is the 15th, so we have 15 more days of beef butter bacon actually 16 more i was days. I, I didn't want to say that it's the 31st so mm -hmm. 16 more days yes so the night before or the day before we left for vegas i had a dozen eggs in the refrigerator and i said you know what i'm gonna make some of maria emmerich's protein sparing bread if you have not seen that we keep getting comments what is that bread you're eating how are you eating bread i'm gonna put a link for her video up here it is her wonder bread and it is a wonder. We don't add one ingredient. So when you watch that video or if you read her recipe, she calls to use allulose. The allulose is not necessary. You can completely eliminate it. We're enjoying it so without it. So basically what this is, is it's a bread made with egg whites. It's a dozen egg whites. And then an egg white protein powder, which is nothing more than powdered egg whites. Right. It's like just powdered egg whites. There's no other ingredients in it and then you bake it in the oven. So we don't, we didn't come up with the recipe, so we're not gonna show you how to do it. You're gonna go watch her video, which we had linked a little bit earlier. You wanna do that and anyway. And it's delicious. Cause she's amazing. It is very high protein with no fat in it. There are one or two carbs in it because there's carbs in eggs, but it's not carbs that we worry about. So what we do is we put butter on it. So I made a loaf, we had some with dinner the night before, mm -hmm. and then I'm like, I'm just gonna pack it up, and we have been snacking on that on the plane, and these are the last two pieces. It's really, really good, and it saves well. So mm -hmm. it was fine in the bag, and it was fine in the refrigerator here in the hotel room. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get a little butter. Um, but yeah, it's been great. And then this morning, I had a few of these carnivore crisps. We brought the beef brisket with us, because Okay, wait a awesomeness. second, there's two bags of beef brisket. Well, I, I didn't eat the whole bag. And one bag is yours. Oh, okay. And one bag is mine. That is smart. <laughs> that is a smart way to do that it. That is, I actually, I like the eye brown one is my favorite one, but we've always loved brisket. So when we bought it, I bought blindly three bags of beef I brisket. I love Which the, the brisket, brisket one is really, really good. I love it. But in the future, I feel like I'm probably going to order more of the eye brown ones. They're really good. So yeah, when we went to 7-Eleven, if you saw in yesterday's vlog, link up here, we bought a stick of butter. Stick of butter. Number one for the bread. Number two, just sometimes you want butter. And then we put some in Rachel's coffee this morning. I got her a coffee from 7-Eleven. 
They didn't Delicious. have any more pumpkin, so we just put it in there. And this Plain has been sitting on the counter, so it melts nice and quick. And that's about it. But we're gonna go over to the conference. I have no idea what we're doing to eat today. I think we might be going to a Brazilian steakhouse. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna play, play it by, by ear. ear. And then uh, I have to at some point kind of skate out of the conference to come pull comments because we need to do keto on the couch. Right. We have to film that tonight. Tonight. Or tomorrow morning. Probably tonight. Because I need to edit it. I don't like having things it, holding over my and head. And then I have to get it all uploaded by tomorrow night because at Lake Mead, there's no cell service. We will have less internet than we presently have. Yeah, so this, you'll have this video. You may get the video on Sunday, depending on if I can get it edited in time, which we'll would try. be tomorrow's vlog, the Saturday vlog. And then we're going to pick back up with the vlogs when we get done camping at Lake Mead. But Ooh, it's going to be really fun because Chris and uh, Steve brought the boat. So we're going to go water skiing and, and tubing. And we'll tape things the whole We're going to tape stuff, but we won't be able to upload anything. Yeah. So we're going to finish getting dressed, head on over and... Get uh, some hugs. Let's, let's get some hugs from people. Let's go talk to some people. I'm really excited. I know Autumn is here and Richard is here and Goody Beats is here. Abby is here. Dave Feldman's here. And we're going to talk to him about our labs. I yeah. definitely am interested in talking to him about our cholesterol with your 400 cholesterol. That's how we do. Are you ready? You got your key? Now I got my key. It's cold out. It is. It feels delicious. But you you have to no. bring everything it's for here. It's cold. Well, it feels good, but like yesterday was hot, so you just gotta pack all the things. When you're in the sun, it feels like that really awesome day at Disney that like sometimes you get, if you get super, super lucky, where it's cold, but like warm also, and you just feel so good. Look at this pool. Yay! Oh my gosh, as soon as I saw your pretty face, I was like, I recognized the eyes immediately. Hey! Oh my goodness! How far away are you from from this? LA, so an, an hour by flight, but oh, five okay. hours driving. I didn't drive. I, I you flew. flew. Yeah. I spared. I spared no expense to meet you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank you so much. Rachel, are you gonna say who this is? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is. I. I, I want to say Cat, but it's Kathleen. It's, it's Kathy. Okay, Kathy. <laughs> Kathy Reyes. And um, it's amazing to actually finally meet you in in person. I'm barely commenting. I was just I met um, uh, Richard and Autumn, and I was like, I never chat with you guys. I'm so sorry. It's, but I like I recognize your eyes immediately. <laughs> that is so awesome. So so have you ever been to Las like, Vegas before? Uh, driving through mostly. Um, no, I think. Years ago, we had bowling, you know, like the end of a bowling thing. Yeah. You come here and do your gossip. Yeah. I, I'm, we I'm not a gambler. Me by, either. By nature. We I, may go play bingo. We, right. we found one place that has bingo. We're like, okay, you know, $35, two and a half hours. That's like a date night. Yeah. You know? That feels reasonable. <laughs> I know, right, Jurassic Park. <laughs> so, um, what, what got you started on keto? Um, again, most like most people, it's, it's weight loss. I was just getting frustrated with, you know, weight not coming off like I would like it to. Wasn't trying that hard either. But I had lost weight uh, after my third son was born, I think. That was, seems like years ago. I lost like 80 pounds and it was wow. sort of low carb. Uh -huh. When I went back and thought about what I ate, I was like, that was kind of low carbish, mm -hmm. you know? And, um, but then I stopped and gained it all back. And anyway, so yeah, I was like, what can I do? My son-in-law, sadly no longer my son-in-law, um, was on keto. And I was just listening to him and I was like, I think it could work for me. And I was like, there's no way I can give up. There's no way I can give up, you know, all that. You gotta get all in. Whatever you're doing, that's, the, that's, that's a good policy. So I just like tiptoed into it uh, two years ago and then just deep dive, like rip the band-aid off and like let's just let's just do this. Wow. And never look back. It's just been so awesome. I love this stuff. So what have you enjoyed in, in addition to I mean you look incredible. Thank you. What it, what have you enjoyed in addition to weight loss? All the health benefits, of course. I I don't know if it's just when you turn 40 and you're not in good shape, you just start mounting up all the health issues. And I don't want to do TMI, but you know, intestinal, yes. top to bottom, gone now. Oh just my all gosh. Healed. And um, I mean, 
multiple doctor's appointments for um, female problems, again, TMI. No, but it's it's so necessary for us to talk about yeah. it because people are thinking, is there ever going to be any relief? Yeah. So, unfortunately, I ended up with a total hysterectomy, which if I'd known about keto, I would have held off on that because I think the problems I had would have maybe been reversed, but it is what it is. And, um, yeah, so... Other than high blood pressure still, which I'm not sure why, so I'm trying to figure that out, um, and, and thyroid still. Uh -huh. Everything else is just gone. That just is gone. amazing. Yeah. Hello, it's Hi. working. Look who we found, it's working good. Hi guys. Our absolute favorite pork rinds. They're so delicious. And if you really are looking for a kick, this, they're not kidding. If you overeat <laughs> pork rinds, <laughs> this will you buy down. those. Yeah. Because there's nothing like eating and sweating at the same time. <laughs> it, it works really good. We love you guys. I know you guys. We love you guys. Why don't you tell us who you are? I'm Megan. I am the social media coordinator for Pork and Good. This is Tommy. He's my helper. Thanks, <laughs> <It's> Tommy. <Yeah. laughs> now, this is also, I love these seasoning blends. Uh, this is amazing. I got to tell you, my absolute favorite, and, and I'm surprised at how good it is, is the dill pickle. Yes. Dill pickle is crazy good, and you want to put it on everything. And everything. you want to put more and more and more you on do. it. You do? I cannot get have enough. Have you tried out a cheeseburger yet? I have. It's so Which good is, on a burger. I've actually had it on fish. That's a good idea. It is really, really good on fish. It's really good with wings. Yes. yes. So you make wings, the and then use that as the seasoning. The salt and vinegar on wings? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So because we used to buy the ones from like Buffalo Wild Wings, yep. but they all have maltodextrin yep. in them. No maltodextrin, no dextrose, no carbs, no sugar, all clean ingredients. Yeah, and this is, I mean, you could just bring it home, mix it into your chicken salad. If you're making chicken salad, any of that stuff. I now, mean, it's just delicious. Now, on the beef, butter, bacon, and egg, you could have those. You just can't have the ones that have the milk in it. Yes. Right. So, like the, the dill pickle, the dill pickle flavor, yeah. you can have those pork rinds this if you wanted. Salt and sodium diastate spice that's, extra. That's an anti caking agent. And, yep. and dill wheat, that's it. Yep. So, which makes me really happy because we can still flavor our food the way we want. I love that. And then this is fantastic for cooking. This is, we, we used to use hemp seed a lot when we would make meat loaves, and we actually have changed out for this. And you're thinking to yourself, well, I'll just buy a bag or two of this and it'll be cheaper than buying it this way. No, there's like 25 bags of pork rinds inside yes. of this thing. So this will have it, you know, last a lot longer and you've got all of the different seasonings. So it's amazing. And you can get the unseasoned and season them with our seasonings. There you oh, go. Oh, I didn't know anything about that. You could have a taco season from. So or any, bacon. You guys have such a variety of flavors, but is there anything coming out or any requests that you've been hearing? Well, we've had a lot of requests for a barbecue flavor. That oh. one's very hard to pull off with no sugar because it's just the barbecue in itself. Yeah. Um, we do have a couple new products coming out. I cannot say what yet. Okay. But we have a new product coming out that does not involve pork. So, Wait, what? I can't say any more than that. But, but, but it does not involve pork. Is it going to be out before the end of the year? Probably not. Okay. Like early next year. All right. So something to look forward to yes. in 2022. Yes, coming absolutely. to you. Now, are you guys in stores yet? Not yet. Not yet. No, we're in small stores. Um, we have a lot of like health foods like Mission Nutrition, um, California stores like that. We're very still online, mostly based. You can find our crumbs on Walmart.com, which is great. We're always on Amazon. But now, I think we don't have an affiliation with you guys other than you guys are awesome, but I think we still have a coupon code that gets you them do. a it's discount. Two crazy ketos. So if you use the code Two Crazy Ketos, you can yep. order from you guys and get a discount. Yep. Awesome, thank you. Thank you, know, you guys. You know what's even better than amazing pork rinds? Cheaper amazing pork rinds. <laughs> so how exciting is this that Just Made Keto is actually here at the show. We get to taste it live, be here Well, we live. can't taste it right now. I know, I make it, it's, it's so sad because this is so beautiful. We need Look like an official taste tester for you guys just to follow you around. Where's your son when you need him? Oh, seriously, we need <laughs> him, him here. Yeah. So tell us more about what's, what's going on with you guys. We're just growing as quickly as we can. We've been expanding to grocery stores in Southern California. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we will try to grow to your area soon. Please. Yeah, but we're still shipping nationwide and we've been adding new flavors. We have our pumpkin chocolate which, which I think you guys had um, recently, or someone maybe near you had. Yes. And um, we've just been, you know, doing our thing, keeping things clean. Oh, yeah, which is amazing because that's the whole thing. It tastes delicious, 
but it's sugar free. Yep. This is what you need to have at your kid's birthday party, right. for the holidays. Yeah. You're not going to have to break with tradition. Exactly. You're still going to be able to have wonderful exactly. baked goods, fresh baked yeah. goods, but you don't have to have the added sugar and the crash exactly. that usually happens afterwards. And it's so, going to be really good with the holidays coming up. Exactly. So my little one just turned five and her class did an activity where all the kids got a muffin and then they also got a frosting couch and they did a frost your own cupcake activity and I asked the teacher afterwards if any kids noticed that the cupcakes were different from regular cupcakes and they yep. didn't like lie and hang on. Right, and, exactly. And, you know, tell them they were healthy and none of the kids noticed. Nobody said like, hey, those taste too weird or like funky. Every single kid was just like eating the frosting straight from the tube like kids do and making cupcakes out of them and like that we're talking about normal American kids here, so. And that's what our experience has been with every single child in our realm of influence that we've had taste this. Yeah. Because it's like, okay, maybe it's us. No. And we've weirdos. been off sugar yeah. for a long time. No. So it's, but normal. nephews, kids at church, like teenagers. Every, teenagers. The, everybody loves just made keto. And you can build your own box. Yeah, Is that totally. right? So it's not just, you don't have to just order one single flavor. No, no, you can do whatever flavors. It. If you have a kid who only likes chocolate or only likes strawberry or none of that and you just want loaf cakes or you just want frosting, you can just buy frosting. We have people order like six frosting couches and we're not gonna judge whatever you're gonna do with the frosting. You just eat frosting, that's your thing. You just eat muffins, that's your thing. Like that's totally fine. You can do all the flavors you want and or you can just do the assortment. So yeah, it's all, all about flexibility. Well, and that is something really important to bring up because I have never yet found a frosting that works like just made keto frosting yeah. that tastes as good as it does. It's butter. I mean, it is just amazing. Yeah. So even if you're making your own baked goods, mm -hmm. but you're trying to find a frosting yeah. that works, yeah. like just have her do it. Yeah. It just makes it easy. We are the only commercially produced frosting that uses butter, and that is why it tastes so great. And I think that that's probably uh, part of it. So you will know that it's gonna taste like the frosting you're used to making at home, or your mom did, or your grandmother, or your dad, or whoever made frosting. So that's really the key, is the butter. And so it's gonna taste like real frosting. And that's really what we're proud of the most, is metabolically it's more healthy, because butter is best, as we all know. Yes, it is totally and the best. Redmond Real Salt and Lakanto you know, the brands that we feel strongly about. So yeah, hopefully. and well, and you always put that on the packages, which is always amazing because it's not just like butter. You're like, this is exactly where it's coming from. Yeah, we're I mean, about clean labels. Yeah, I mean, it, it's completely transparent mm -hmm. because you're not worried. You're no. not trying to hide something no, in there. And that makes something a in. huge difference. So is there a, a flavor that has been requested that you're still working on? Anything that in the future that, that's coming out? Any Christmas flavors on the horizon? Well, I would love to do something with peppermint, but I need to figure out like what to do, like maybe like a chocolate peppermint, but I don't know. You are such a flavor scientist. I need it to be really perfect before I... Like pumpkin and chocolate chip, and you're like, that's never gonna work, and the kids are like, this works. Yeah, I know. Why have we it's not weird. been doing this I for know. a really long time? So. I know, well, we make cheesecake locally, but we didn't do it this year because I just, I don't like to make stuff that I can't ship. Right. Because it's just so disappointing for when people see it on the Website. Well, and that's the thing. If you're just buying this for somebody else, and they can ship it to another address, yes, totally. right? And talk about a be beautiful presentation. I mean, she has the boxes come so beautiful, and they're packed so elegantly. Yeah, it's a fun gift. It really feels like a present. Yeah, definitely. It's a fun gift. So we're happy to put in a gift note, too, if you guys want to send something to somebody in your family or a friend who's... You know, you haven't seen in a long time. You can send us a little note on the side, and we're happy to put in whatever you like. And that's really nice that like the people can feel special. You know, so present. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for just keeping it beautiful and awesome and delicious. So we're leaving. We're supposed to be vlogging all our food. We did none of that. We did none of that. We ate. I ate a burger, and it had bacon on it and brisket on it. <laughs> A buffalo wild wings. With no bun, obviously. And some mustard on the side. So what happens when you take two people who live in Florida in an eastern time zone. That's right. And you stick them in Las Vegas in the western time zone, I guess. Mm -hmm. You get an invitation to go out to dinner with Marie Emmerich and Chris yes. and Autumn. And the invitation says 9.15 p.m. And we are so eastern centric. You that sit down. And film keto on the couch. Because you got time. At 
30 You're by fine. 45 because yes. we're trying to get it uploaded so that everybody can have it because we're not going to have internet come Sunday. And you missed at dinner. 620, you find out dinner's not at 915. No. Dinner was at 615. And you know, there's a fleeting thought that I thought, gosh, these guys are Why late. are we eating so Nine late? Nine owls. Look at this. And yeah, no, yeah. it's it's not 615. It's not 915. It's 615. So we apologize to everybody we're supposed to have dinner with. But we didn't want to hold everybody up because by the time we were going to get over like, there, oh, wait, it was like, going to be 630. And that's oh, just no. not Rude fair up. to have a reservation. No. So we got to go find something to eat. And I guess... I don't know. We're going to go look at the strip a little bit and maybe find some place to eat somewhere. I, well, you said strip and I thought New York strip. Okay, time to eat. We're going to eat at the Pizza Press. Just kidding. Actually, we're going to eat at, what is this place called? Galapo Gaucho. Another Brazilian steakhouse. For, it's the best bet for a beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge. So we're going to go in and see how much better is this than Fogo de Chao. We're going to compare it. Like, let's see which one was the best one. So here we are, round one. I've got some pancetta, got some beef salami, and we're starting out with some steak. I'm pretty impressed. They came around, the first thing they brought is ribeye. We have not had ribeye in any of the Brazilian steakhouses we're at. So I got a bunch of that salami. This is like a pancetta to salty kind of cured bacon. They had deviled eggs up there. So we're gonna try one. I'm sure it's not the greatest uh, oil in the world, but it does look like there's a whole lot of mayo in that anyway. And then of course some ribeye to start with. We got some pork sausage. Thank you. Enjoy. This time we remembered our little thing of Redmond. Last night we only had the little bags, but we need to go ahead and open it up to the big side. Okay, so so far I'm impressed because the meat is coming to the table very quickly. We've already got pork sausage. We've been here for like less than three minutes. Pork sausage, ribeye, bottom round sirloin. And now we can't have it right now, but they have brought over like different types of cheeses already. A grilled cheese, which of course we can't have grilled cheese. I really want, want so cheese much. right now. But yeah, there's a lot of options coming over that we can't eat right now because the beef, butter, bacon, and egg. But when I'm not on beef, butter, bacon, and egg, so far, three to five minutes in, this is the best one we've been to so far. So this is spiced sirloin. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna get like a uh, medium, medium rare is good. That's perfect. Thank you very Thank much. You so Here's something awesome too. Talk about service. The waitress understood. Like we're on, we're we're asking for special things. So she said, "What can you not have?" And we said, "Well, right now we're on a challenge for beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. So we can only have like beef, lamb." bacon that sort of thing so now she's asked them don't bring over the seafood don't bring over the chicken just keep bringing them the beef and i thought that was amazing so this filet mignon uh medium or you have like a, a little bit higher than medium rare just a little bit more cooked than that perfect oh that's perfect right there Look at that, that's perfect, thank you. That one right there with all that nice fat, oh look at that, was this the house special? Yes. Wow, can I get a little bit more of that one on the top with the fat? Yeah, see look at that fat right there. Perfect, thank you. This is probably my favorite cut, just because the meat is always cooked so perfectly. This is and, and look at that fat. What is this? Bacon wrap Oh yes, yes, please. Thank you very much. Bacon wrap filet. Bottom sirloin, yes. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Thank you. My plate is getting full very quick. Yeah. So they brought us some lamb chops. The girl actually had said, like, what can you have? And we told her beef and pork, completely forgetting about lamb. And then I looked on the menu, they have lamb as well. So I'm like, we can have lamb. She's like, okay, we'll add that to your stuff. They have 17 different types of meat that they carry around, plus with everything that's up at the bar. Yeah. So it's really good because I've never been to one where they have a bunch of seafood. Like they'll bring you salmon and right. shrimp. Salmon and shrimp. We just can't have it right now. But this is wonderful. And you are right on the strip which is super nice and there is outdoor seating available if you want to sit outside and you know people watch strip watch while you're 
eating, which is really nice. Um, and it's part of the mall. We had a hard time trying to get in here, so you can just park in the mall parking lot. So we didn't have to pay for parking. Beef short ribs. Oh, wow, look at that. Can you spin that for me? Yes. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Thank you. What do you get there? Garlic sirloin. You can smell it coming to the table. It smells amazing. Yeah, and it's got a nice big piece of fat cap on the end of it, but it's not like a chewy piece of fat. It like melts in your mouth. Moo. This moo. one's still moving. I mean, it is really moo. You like it like that. I do. How do you like your steak? Do you like it medium? Medium rare? Rare? Well done? I hope not. I love you too much to eat well done meat. Yeah. This is the best thing here. Yeah, the house sirloin amazing. the king. Yes. Oh, know, look at that. Like Can you give that a spin for me? Oh, look at that. It's amazing. Look at that. Rachel, give me a smile. It's like so good. Thank you. Hey, can you do me a favor and say that word that you were just saying? Because I love it when you say it. Cement. Say it again. Cement. Do you say it cement or cement? It's cement. What's wrong? I got to flip it for a minute. Let me see that. This is like this is like the admission of defeat. Anytime you flip it over, I just need a, a little, just a, an, an intermission. <laughs> is that good? So good. Are you tapping out? Yes. But here's the thing: there is no negotiation with protein. When protein says you're done, you flip the card. It's not like carbs where you can like belch come back to the table, you're gonna be fine in 20 minutes, no. I'm telling you right now, you're done for the night. <laughs> like, that's it, you're full, you're full on protein, you're full on meat. You, I will see you at breakfast, but not before then. It got How you cold. Doing? It got very cold, got I am like cold. really cold right now. Okay, so we have your choice. We can go back to the hotel and go into a protein coma, <laughs> or, we can walk right over here to Treasure Island and see the ship because the ship's in like four minutes. Okay, let's try. Then then protein coma. Good morning. You mean good night. Oh yeah, good night. Good night. <laughs> so we got back from, you know, the strip and from eating. That food was delicious. Hands down the best that we've had across all of the Brazilian steakhouses. It, it absolutely is. Like, I think we may go back there again today. Just not eat anything else the rest of the day. And just save it for that. And just go back there. But I don't wanna go back late. I, I'm thinking like earlier kind of dinner. We'll, we'll see what happens. But we got back here. We did not go and look at the ship. We opted for food coma. Yeah, right. <laughs> Protein coma, one. So what happened was we actually, we parked in the parking garage for the mall because that restaurant is on the outside of the mall. It's like part of the mall, but on the dining patio. The problem is the mall closed. Yeah. And we had to walk all the way around to the get Around the park. block. Yeah, because we parked really close if the mall had been open. Right. It would have been awesome, perfect parking space. But it wasn't, and it was the worst parking space we could have chosen. Yeah. So what happened was that we we started we started walking over towards Treasure Island and Mirage and stuff, and then we realized that oh wait a second, a lot of the streets here you, they don't let you just cross the street. You have to go down go up and then stairs. go up steps, walk across the right. ramp, and go back down. And it was cold, and so we started going. Okay, I'm full. We Full gotta, and freezing. We're going to have to climb steps like three times, which is normally not a big deal, except for when you're about to be in a protein coma. Except when you have five pounds of beef in your stomach. <laughs> so we got to the bottom of the steps that had to go across the street and we're like, mm, yeah, no, let's just go back to the hotel. So we came back here. I know for a fact that we filmed like a wrap up of this vlog. Yeah, but, but. I think that we had maxed out our iCloud storage. Either that or it was just the, the protein coma had me not hit record. And <laughs> something happened, it just was gone. The other reason why I think that we were tired and ready to go home is we are still sort of one foot in Florida time and one foot in here. So it was weird that, you know, 11 o'clock here is way late at home. 
like right. way past yeah. our bedtime. Yeah. Right. And I'm still waking up at 5 a.m. here because it's really seven or eight there. Our bodies just wake us up at five or 6 a.m. wherever we are. Right. So we've been getting up at five or 6 a.m., but that's nine o'clock there. Yeah. But then we're going to bed and it's just weird. It's, it's like weird. our body adapts for the morning, but not for the night. I know. <laughs> it's like my one rogue armpit, right? Yeah. The one like everybody is. It's not rogue today. Uh, well, because I just took a shower. Oh, okay. But it's like, you know, one one's keto and one's not. So it's like, yeah, we're in the morning, we're in Florida and it, you know, or, or we're here presently in Las Vegas, but at night I'm still in Florida. Yeah. So I will say this, if you come to Las Vegas and you are looking for like a Brazilian steakhouse, you're like, which one should I go to? Yeah. Listen, they're all priced about the same. You know, I think the cheapest one is Texas Day Brazil, but I think that the type of meat you get at Texas Day Brazil reflects the fact that right. it's the cheapest one. But looking at all the different ones, they're all within $2 of each other. And that one last night was a Galapo Gaucho or right. something like that. We're totally butchering the name. They, they to me, had the best selection. Started off with the fatty meats. Like, Dr. Barry would be proud because I know he's always like, do not get distracted by the chicken and the really lean cuts. He's like, go right into the lamb and the ribeye and the picanha. And, boy, they, from, like, the second you got there, within 15 minutes, my plate was piled high. Well, and the fact that the wait staff felt like they were working with us yeah. and our needs and they were, they weren't upset by it and then didn't try to continue bringing around like the cheaper cuts of meat. So you could go in and, and say that all the time, yeah. which would, which I don't think that normally I would feel comfortable doing, but every time I go, I would really probably want to do that. Like yeah. I don't want the sausage to fill me up. I really want you know, to have the, the better cuts of meat. Yeah. So like, yeah, please don't bring me this, this, or this. Yeah. And uh, Hey, there's one in Charleston, South Carolina. I feel like when beef, butter, bacon, and egg is over, we should drive 12 <laughs> hours and go there because I want to try some of the stuff that we couldn't eat. Like that fried cheese, the salmon, the shrimp, the, oh, they had a Parmesan crusted pork. Oh, that looks so good. It smelled amazing too. I just, oh, I want to go try all that stuff. So we yeah. need to go back there where we're not on beef, butter, bacon, and eggs one day. Well, and if you live in South Carolina or you live in California or Texas where they have this, do it for us. Yeah. Like go. Let us know down in the comment section. Be, because I think that it is an awesome birthday or anniversary option. And I hope it helps somebody that maybe has never been to a Brazilian steakhouse before mm -hmm. to give it a try. Yeah. Because I think you'll be really pleased with it. Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go get in the shower. Yeah. And then we're going to turn around and, hey, Miss Rogue Armpit. I know, I'm just kidding. I'm going to get in the shower and then we're going to turn around and we're going to film the morning for day 28. Now, let us know down in the comment section, how are you doing on beef, butter, bacon, egg? If you're doing it. And if you're not, that's totally okay. Fine. We completely appreciate that. Um, now, again, this is day 27, which is going to air on Saturday. Uh, we're going to film today day 28 that's going to go up on sunday and then there will not be one for monday and tuesday we're right. going to wrap them all up in one vlog because we're going to be camping and that'll probably go up on wednesday. wednesday but we appreciate everybody for joining us we hope you guys enjoy keto on the couch that'll be up there'll be a premiere for keto on the couch tomorrow we just won't be in the premiere most right. likely unless somehow we end up with some self-service not without a miracle and uh you can go ahead and chat with each other and we will pick back up with you guys on wednesday morning so if you like seeing videos like this check out some of the videos that we have linked right over here also make sure you take a look at our most recent video which i'm gonna put right over there but whether you head this way or you head this way don't forget to head this way subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it till tomorrow bye, bye.